In this scenario, inmates stage a confrontation to distract the officer while another inmate retrieves a cell phone. And speaking of cell phones, they can be a dangerous tool in the hands of an inmate in a number of ways. Talk to people from the outside, organize gang hits, um, orchestrate a plot to have contraband smuggled in. Plot an escape? Maybe? Plotting an escape, plotting to an attack at officers, um, having someone find out where an officer lives. Many reasons, text messaging. They can be taking pictures of something inside or outside the facility, Ooh. texting them back to their family or their friends or whoever. Um, they could be texting pictures of people inside the jail that may be a high-valued inmate that they may want to get to. Even America's most famous inmate, Charles Manson, has been caught twice with a cell phone. And if Manson can get a hold of one, what's to stop any inmate from doing the same? Well, what will stop them is officer diligence. Just staying on top of everything, making sure we're doing proper searches at intake, and just by giving it a lot of due diligence, I can't say that, you know, can't stress that enough over and over again, you have to constantly search. Anytime you come to work and you're lazy and you don't feel like working that day, that's the day to get it in. The number one way to prevent contraband is having the officers on point and being diligent, whether that means the person initially coming into the facility when they could come off the street, have that booking officer do a complete and a thorough uh, pat down. Uh, once they make it back to the pod or to the tier, have those officers do tier rounds, uh, have the officer presence on the tier. A lot of times that in itself uh, can catch contraband right there. Inmates will try to hide contraband anywhere they can especially places where they think the officer won't be looking. So officers must do a thorough search of these places.